Hey guys, Leif here from uh, ATAC Office Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, scan to email on the uh, BISUB C220. Uh, so if we go into utility, we go into number three, administrator settings, enter the default uh, password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and okay. We go into number five, network settings, and we go into number seven, email settings. So this is where we've got the um, SMTP server set up. So we go into number one, email TX, for that means email transmit, SMTP. And there's a few things in there, and this totally depends on your, the email settings from your email or internet provider. So I'm going to just cover up of the most basics in here. If I go, uh, make sure these are all on, scan to email, status notification and counter notification. If you want all of that emailed, we go to page two out of six. And this is where we enter in the host address, the SMTP host address that you will get from your internet or email provider. So if I click on there, you can just type in either a host name or an IP address. So I'll just type that in there. Go to page three out of six. Normally don't need to change anything on that one. Page four, uh, the timeout and service ca server capacity, just leave those as per default. Uh, number five out of six, this may need uh, changing depending again on your email provider you may have to turn on SSL or in this case it's the most simple version so we're just gonna leave it off and uh, the port numbers there are the default ones sometimes they need changing as well depending on your requirements page 6 out of 6 don't really need to do anything there either just leave it as default uh, but uh, I'll just go back to page 5 out of 6 where we got the SSL on. If you have SSL on, you most likely need authentication as well. And the authentication settings are under the detail section. And you can turn that on or off there. So in this case, uh, we've just got it off and that's all uh, working well. But if you did have to turn it on, set that to on, type in the user ID and password there and then close it all to save it and uh, you're left to test it just uh, one thing that you also need to set up is a from address on the machine and that's back at now i'm back to the main administrator settings menu we go into number two administrator machine settings and both of these fields uh, need to be filled out with an email address or uh, you could put in no reply as well if you didn't want it to be a reply but enter in the, an email address on there and on the second one you can enter an email in there or just leave that as no reply so that's the that's what will show up as the from address when this device is sending out emails so that's it that's pretty much the basics about the email setup on the Konica Bizarre.